Sharon Rose McKeever, you uh, live in Baltimore and you work in Skibbereen and you're well known as a community activist. Can I just ask you, coming into the election, what are the issues uh, facing places like Skibbereen and Baltimore? Oh, or the I, country even? Yeah, well there's lots of issues now. Like I know from my own um, family and lifestyle, it's like, you know, the housing issue is like, I mean, we need more affordable housing for families living in, in uh, and, uh, throughout the area. Do you know, it's um, it's difficult for a lot of families to get on to the housing ladder. Do you know what I mean? It's like a lot of people, what they're paying in rent is what you could be paying in a mortgage. Do you know? And um, it's ridiculous. So I think we need to like wise up and get people into houses and um, make it accessible for everyone. Okay. Any other national issues that you're worried about? Um, the, oh, get the health service. Do you know what I mean? It's like how many people are on trolleys. You know, um, like, and then the families can't even get to see um, people that is in the hospital as well because of like flu viruses and one thing or other. So um, we need to, gosh, get our hands on deck and get out there and get this sorted. Okay. And, um, and and the candidates running, which of the candidates standing do you think is most likely to be hands on with these issues? Well, you just something I've actually been really impressed by um, Holly Cairns. Um, like she's very approachable. Um, Karen Coakley as well. Jeremy, she does a lot for the um, the Skibreen area, and um, Paul Hayes as well has been like you know very accessible as well. Very good. And um, just in relation to Skibreen and Baltimore, particularly like in a local area, what do you think they need? Well, actually, from the business side of things, actually, um, we need to look at to try and get more people um, uh, buying locally. Do you know what I mean? It's like so many people are buying online and um, like <laughs> on the high street, I mean, there's so many places that are closing down. We need to have um, more, like things maybe reduce the rates, you know, for a start, um, give young businesses a chance. There's so many people who are really out there trying to get like businesses off the ground, give them somewhere to run, maybe even, um, maybe don't charge rates for the first two years and let them get off the ground, get their businesses driving, then introduce rates, get things going and give everyone a chance because the more that's in an area, the more economic and productive an area comes. And um, Sharon, Rose, um, have you ever thought of standing yourself? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that would, that would definitely get things changed. I would like <laughs> shake up the system, but uh, no, definitely. I think like these are the issues that you know. I got, I've I'm married with like three young kids, and you know these are the issues that affect me and many other ones around us. Lovely. You know, so I think um, to take things you. all on board. Thank you so much for talking to me, Jasper Hampton. You've opened a new shop here in Skibbereen. How do you think Skibbereen is faring? Um, there's a lot of places that I'd like to see filled that are empty at the moment. Um, so we've just filled one of those spaces. Uh, I'm quite new to town. I, I've only been here a few months. Um, but I did live, live here maybe 10 years ago and I'd say more places were open. Right, but you're not new to West Cork. No. Do you think local politicians are doing enough? Um, I, the only person that I've had to anything to do with was Jim Daly and he was doing a fantastic job but he's leaving politics, he's not going up again so I don't really know anyone else apart from him um, but he was great. Okay and uh, um, if you were to um, uh, ask a politician to do something specifically for Skibbereen, what would you ask for? Um, a bit like Bantry, they've, 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 they've tidied the place up and, and made, made it look more welcoming um, and as you come up and down the main street there's just a, a few places that they could maybe um, um, push to get reopened for some sort of like, like we're a community project here but I think in Bantry they they, they uh, you know have put some effort into uh, making things uh, look more tidy and open and welcoming. Okay and on the national scale what do you think are the issues that politicians will have to address what will voters be saying to them on the doorsteps hmm. housing crisis uh, that would be top of my list Michael Thornhill you're a businessman here in Skibbereen what do you think are the biggest issues facing the town coming into this election coming into this election uh, I'd say investment for the likes of the convent no above and 
uh, Nar Street and developing that and finishing off different aspects around town. Um, and it was great to get the flood relief completed and finished. Very good. And do you think the politicians have delivered? Uh, to a degree, but uh, a lot of uh, things had to be done by ourselves. And so. Okay, so are you saying that community activism has a big role to play? Community activism does have a big, yes. Of the three seats, do you think that the western part of the constituency is well represented? Uh, generally, the way it pans out, that's what it, it pans out. As in, the, it kind of divides into three anyway, naturally. Okay, very good. So. And um, Michael Collins is standing again. Um, are you saying who you'd support, or would you like to see somebody closer to Skibbereen? Well, he he is he has an office here in Skibbereen, but um, you have Karen Coakley now, and you have Christopher Sullivan, and um, so you have a good range around here too. Very good. And are you indicating in any way which way you'll be leaning? We'll see what they come up with. Adrian Pollock, you do volunteer work here in Skibbereen, but you live in Clonakilty. Do you think Clonakilty is a progressive town and well catered for by its politicians? Yes, very much so. Um, Clonakilty is a small town with a cosmopolitan feel. Um, it's a community-minded town. People care about each other. Um, Christopher O'Sullivan, who is our councillor, who is also the County Cork Mayor right now, um, is doing a fantastic job uh, for what he's doing. Um, and you're aware he's standing in this election looking for a seat in yes. the Dole. Do you yes. think his chances are good? Yes, I do. Why? Well, I think he proved himself being the County Cork Mayor. He signed... Um, contracts for housing and, and other things and he's helped people. Yes, he's the goodwill ambassador in lots of ways for the county, but he's helped um, and doing things for people. So yes, I do. You're here in Skibreen, you're working on a voluntary basis. Do you see a difference between the fortunes of Skibreen and Clonakilty? Um, I've only been here since this, but I've lived in Con and I've volunteered in Con. Um, and the community, um, I don't know what the community is like here, but I can tell you the community in Connacilty supports everything. Okay, so then let me ask you, do you think that the fortunes of a town is more dependent on community, community activism or political representation? Community activism. Okay, and do you think funding and uh, securing funding from government sources has a part to play? Um, depends on what the issues are and depends on what you're looking for funding for. Um, I've always, just back in track, when I was living in the States, in England, I was active, I'm an activist. I, um, I have been in many, many marches and many, many um, things that I strongly feel for, um, so I know what it is to be an activist. And um, I believe in certain things, and I go out and fight for them. Yes, but the question is, like, do politicians deliver? No. Okay. And will you be saying that to Christopher O'Sullivan? Will you be going to him with a wish list? When he comes? The only wish list that I think right now is the most important is this planet. And if we don't do something, we're not going to be here. Dermot O'Sullivan, you're a businessman here in Skibbereen. What do you I think the town needs? Um, definitely, I think the, uh, prior to when they were doing up Main Street in Skibbereen, they had a one-way system. Yes. When Main Street was closed, and I thought it worked unbelievably well. Um, but since the Main Street is, has reopened, it's the North Street has gone back to two-way. Okay. Um, so I think that's something definitely that, could, that they could look at. Um, I also think the bus stop outside Callan's and Bridge Street um, uh, I don't think there's any need for it. Okay. And there's a lot of congestion. Unbelievable. There. Like yeah. even today now, I was in the uh, church car park, and it took me five minutes to get out because there was a bus stopped. Traffic was going all the way back to 
tunnels or even further back down the street. Okay. So that really that was really frustrating for me today. But um, I just think. Um, and and in your own business, um, what are the obstacles that you face? In which side? In your own business. Uh, insurance is absolutely crazy. Um, I, I, we, we have a nightclub and we'll have the Tanger Barn, Skirbeen Main Street, but uh, we also have the nightclub upstairs as well. Mm -hmm. And what we're paying uh, uh, yearly is absolutely crazy. And I just think even shows when I think from Cork City to Killarney, we're the only nightclub that's left between Cork City and County Kerry. Wow. I think there might be one in Bandon might be uh, might be might be open, but I know the one in Clannacilty is definitely after closing due to insurance. Yes. Um, they simply can't afford it. And tell me, do you think politicians should be um, taking an active stance on this? Is it their remit to do that? Um, certainly. Like when you see businesses closing, um, definitely. Um, and do you think the politicians that we have and those that are standing are effective? Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. Now, okay, that you're okay, honest. you're right. <laughs> without showing your colours, um, <laughs> is there any one of them that you'd endorse for having done a particular thing, or the gentleman that's getting the Mick McCarthy statue? Well, the talks. Jim about Daly. It. Yes, he's done a good, good bit for West Cork, and I think um, you see him locally quite a bit as well. Um, so you're sorry to see him go? Yep. Okay, so you're not giving any anything away. You're not um, saying who you're voting for. Definitely a taxi service in Scarborough Town as well is hugely needed. Okay, so that relates to the drink driving issue. Unbelievable, yeah. And I just think like um, there's nights there I'd be working and people from out of town or tourists who come in they might be having a drink and they, they might ask me to get them a taxi and I'd ring for a taxi and I can't get them a taxi. I'd have to drop them home or drop well. them wherever they're staying, you know. So okay. that's, that's a huge issue as well.